You are watching 3LW TV. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash 3LW TV. For information regarding Janet Jackson's Up Close and Personal World Tour, log on to JanetJackson.com. literally like in my home today which I don't really do videos very often from here but this is my little office um just got back from seeing the one and only Janet Jackson and when I tell you this thing shut it down in the ATL tonight she shut it down I've gone to Janet's concert since uh, the very first tour, the Rhythm Nation tour, so I've been to every last one of her tours. And what I love about her audience is that, I mean, they are so diverse. I mean, black, white, yellow, brown, blue, green, fat, skinny, tall, short, old, young, you name it, Janet Jackson reaches that demographic. Each city she dedicates to one of her songs and videos to the audience, and they kind of play it at the beginning to get us going. Uh, so she dedicated All Right, which is one of my personal favorites, uh, to the city of Atlanta. And then she opened up with the sweetest songs, which included The Pleasure Principle, uh, Control, Feedback. Now, I mean, and then she just came out in this cat suit and just gave you what? 44. Take that. I mean, body was just banging on point. I mean, I just, I just love this woman. <laughs> up close and personal and fortunately for me pretty much all of the concerts that she's done I've been up close and personal but really this one in particular is just very intimate uh, because really she's just really literally right there it's like she's in your living room uh, but I mean she comes out she opens the show she's sticking dance moves she's giving you the hits uh, and she's just working it all in this cat uh, cat suit just making it look effortless. They show a video montage and then during the video montage you see a lot of her acting clips which was just hot and technically it was supposed to be a wardrobe change but last night in Atlanta the wardrobe change didn't happen so I wonder what happened because she usually comes out this is my second time seeing the show but she usually comes back with this beautiful gown and then gives us the segment of ballads but last night there was no costume change but she still came back out and worked it and then she gave you like again and come back to me uh, nothing. I mean, just, uh, just wonderful. <laughs>
audience into it, and of course we were into her too, as we always are, but she was just really engaged in this thing which is very flirty and fun. You can really tell and see that last night, Ms. Jackson was having a good time at ATL, and she was showing you how it is done. <laughs> Jackson work ethic is just not to be touched with. And you see it influenced in a lot of the younger artists uh, today. Uh, Miss Jackson just, like I said, she just turned it out, Janet. She just turned it out. And like the Scorpion, I got all of my, you know, my goodies. He was in the front row. I was in the fifth row. But that's all right. It was still close enough. And I ain't done seeing her yet, so. I wasn't able to get the front row because I had already bought my tickets before the front row tickets went on sale. But. That's okay, I got that game now. So when they announced the new leg of dates, oops, did I say that? Yeah, I understand there might be a possible leg when they come back from Europe, more and more uh, tour dates in the States. Got my Janet Keychain, can you see that? Boom, boom, I feel like the Scorpion, <laughs> like such a groupie. And then my Janet Lanyard, um, oh, my T-shirt, and my Janet hoodie. So, it says Janet on the front, and it's the thing on the back. Can y'all see that? Okay. And I'm sure if you wanted one, you could probably even buy them, even if, the, if you don't get to the concert, you can go online and get it from her site. If you haven't had a chance to see it, baby, do yourself a favor, save your coins, and go. It is worth every single penny. We had so much Fun. And like I said, I've been to Janet's concert since 1990 when she launched the Rhythm Nation tour, so I done been around a while for a minute. It's just amazing to watch her. I, work, I just love her so much. <laughs> She's influenced me, I mean, from the, my decision to go to college. When she said on American Bandstand back in 19, mm -mm -mm, that she was going to go to Pepperdine. I was like, Pepperdine? Well, if that school is good enough for Jen Jackson, it must be good enough for me. And that's where I ended up going. Uh, so, not, I mean, really, this woman, her music and her journey has just been so influential in mine. Janet, thank you once again just for being you for standing in your light, for sharing this wonderful, wonderful uh, show, this intimate show with us. I mean, it just, ugh. 
It was like she was right there. You know, you can see the sweat dripping off of her and just, she was just, and she was into it, into it. And somebody gave her flowers and you know, she was just, she was just wonderful. And she gave me a big smile. Yes, I was close enough for that too. Actually twice she did. I know you remember me, girl. I love you, I've been here forever. <laughs> Miss you much. I wanna thank you all for tuning in to 3OW TV. I really appreciate all the love and feedback and I love meeting you guys when I go out places. Um, continue to share the videos, continue to support artists, independent artists, mainstream artists. If you love somebody and you're touched by their art, buy the music, don't download it for free, don't steal it. Support your artists, always stand in your light. Oh, no.